Hi and welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the bell notification so you know when we upload a video. I have a very important word this morning, a great reminder of who we are as Christians, as believers in Christ Jesus. This is all about love and this is going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and then I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will fail. Whether there are tongues, they will cease. Whether there is knowledge, it will vanish away. But we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. I don't know about you, I know that for myself, some of these things I struggle with, not all the time, but sometimes, and um, this is just a beautiful reminder that we are to walk in love in all that we do, um, even if we're feeding the poor, even if we're, um, you know, clothing the naked, and no matter what we're doing, all these things, whenever we're helping other people, we have got to uh, go to God's Word and we've got to renew um, a right spirit you know, within us. Go to God and ask Him to renew a right spirit within us. Go to His Word because this is life-giving Word right here. Uh, it's living, it's active, and it can renew our faith. And um, we don't want to have a bitter heart. And I know there's times where I feel like um, maybe, you know, I've got a little bitterness in me and maybe I'm envying. Um, I typically, as a parent of a child with special needs, I sometimes find myself envying um, those families that get to go and do uh, things and live what we consider a normal um, life. Um, but then I read a word like this and I'm reminded that I am so blessed and that this is the life that we have been given and God has given me this job as this mother to raise my child and to, um, to teach him the ways of the Lord. So uh, I am truly, truly blessed. Um, we, we have been blessed beyond measure. So, but I just hope that this word helps some of you out there, encourages you, edifies the body, and just speaks life into you so you can go out and you can walk in Christ's love today. Um, God willing, I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope the Lord blesses you abundantly. Um, I hope he puts people in your path that you can share the good news of the gospel with, and um, maybe putting people in your path that you can help today and that you can love today. So. I will see you in the morning. Shalom. May the peace of the Lord be with you.